The Tallahassee community, students, faculty, and staff from Florida A&M University honored the late Congresswoman Carrie Pittman Meek. When I think about the legacy of a woman and the impact and reach of all that she did, it's mind blowing. Carrie Meek was born on April 29, 1926 in Tallahassee, Florida. Meek was the youngest of 12 children, the daughter of sharecroppers, the great granddaughter of a slave. Meek opened pathways nationwide as a public servant, college administrator, educator, and stateswoman. She was elected to the Florida House of Representatives in 1978 and became the first black female elected to the Florida Senate in 1982. As of today, South Bruno Street from FAMU Way to West Palmer Avenue will officially become Carrie Pittman Meek Street in honor of the late U.S. Congresswoman who grew up right here. The Allen Subdivision neighborhood is where the street name will reside. It steps away from Florida a and University's campus, Meek's alma mater. Carrie Meek represented the highest ideas of what democracy can produce and the qualities of what a woman brought to the Florida legislature and to the United States Congress. That's why I think it not robbery to come here today. My aunt, the late Congresswoman Carrie Pittman Meeks, now a street, has her name. I know she has a big smile on her face. On this day, we are surrounded by a cloud of witnesses and I believe that she is looking down from the balcony of heaven. And as she looks down, she's well pleased as we honor her today, renaming the street on her behalf. Meek champion issues from health care to housing. She was also an advocate for immigrants and for the elderly. In 1992, Meek was elected to the U.S. House of Representatives from Florida's 17th Congressional District. Her legacy will forever live on. The Black Archives Research Center and Museum on FAMU's campus was named in her honor. For Florida A&M University, I'm Giovanni Hampton.